Have you ever heard the name Nobel? Of course you have. The Nobel Prize, right? The most prestigious award on the planet, celebrating peace, literature, and groundbreaking scientific discoveries. But have you ever wondered about the man behind the prize, Alfred Nobel? Well, his story is, to put it mildly, explosive. Alfred Nobel was a brilliant Swedish chemist and engineer. In the mid-19th century, the world was fascinated by a new, credibly powerful but terrifyingly unstable liquid explosive called nitroglycerin. It was so dangerous that just a slight jolt could set it off. Factories would vanish in a flash, and transporting it was a nightmare. Many people, including Alfred's own brother Emil, tragically lost their lives working with it. Now, a common myth is that Nobel invented dynamite by accident when some nitroglycerin leaked and mixed with the packing material in its crate. The truth is a bit more deliberate. Nobel was obsessed with taming nitroglycerin. He spent years experimenting, trying to find a way to make it safe to handle without reducing its power. He tried mixing it with everything from sawdust to brick dust. Finally, he found the magic ingredient, kieselger, a type of absorbent, porous earth. When he mixed the liquid nitroglycerin with this fine powder, it turned into a stable, malleable paste. You could drop it, shake it, even light it with a regular match, and nothing would happen. But when detonated with a blasting cap, another one of Nobel's inventions, it released all its incredible power. He called his creation dynamite, from the ancient Greek word dynamis, meaning power. Dynamite revolutionized construction. Suddenly, building tunnels through mountains, clearing canals, and mining for resources became faster and safer than ever before. It literally reshaped the face of the earth, of course. It also found its way onto the battlefield, becoming a powerful tool of destruction. This dual legacy troubled Nobel deeply. He was a complex man, pacifist, who created one of the most powerful weapons of his time, an inventor who amassed an immense fortune from his 355 patents. But he wasn't defined by his wealth. Legend has it that when a French newspaper mistakenly published his obituary, calling him the merchant of death, Nobel was horrified. He didn't want to be remembered for creating tools of war. So, in his will, he made a monumental decision. He left the vast majority of his fortune to establish a series of prizes awarded annually to those who conferred the greatest benefit on mankind in physics, chemistry, medicine, literature, and peace. The Nobel Prizes were his way of rewriting his own legacy, turning his fortune from dynamite into a force for progress and humanity. So, the next time you hear about a Nobel Prize winner, remember the inventor behind it all. A man whose explosive genius gave us both dynamite and a timeless symbol of human achievement. Thanks for watching. If you found this story as fascinating as I did, hit that like button and subscribe for more incredible tales from history. See you next time.